Hello there! Glad to see you! Welcome back! This video is for Senior High School General Mathematics for Grade 11. Friendly reminders! Do not forget your paper and pen that will be useful in writing your solutions later on. And remember, you can always pause and play this video whenever necessary. And if you want to learn more or deepen your knowledge or understanding for general mathematics, do not forget to subscribe. For this video presentation, we are in Module 1, Quarter 1 of the subject General Mathematics with the topic Real Life Functions. Currently, we are now in Lesson 3.4 under the Operations on Functions, specifically that is the Division of Functions. What do you need to know? At the end of the session, you're able to follow the steps in dividing functions and divide functions. What's in? Now let's refresh our minds on how to divide integers. Now look at this. If you have 15 divided by 3, so you have both are positive, a positive 15 divided by a positive 3, I know you'll find it simple. The answer is similar to, yes, yeah, similar to the multiplication of integers. Here, if they have the like signs, or I mean the integers have the like signs, the answer is a positive integer. In this case, that is a positive 5. How about this? For unlike signs, a positive 15 divided by a negative 3. The answer is a negative integer. That is a negative 5. So again, for dividing integers, it's similar to multiplying integers. If they have like signs, the answer is a positive integer. If they have unlike signs, then you'll have a negative integer as the answer. So let's move on. Let's continue and proceed to the main or central topic of this lesson. Are you ready? This is what's new. How to divide functions. In dividing functions like f of x and g of x, we will follow these notations. That is f of x divided by g of x, or that is f of x over g of x, or we can write it in this form. f over g of x. I repeat, that is f over g of x. What is it? Given f of x is equal to 3x and g of x is equal to 4 minus 5x, let's find the value of f over g of x. We need to follow the steps. Step 1. Divide in this form. f over g of x. Follow my laser pointer. f over g of x is equal to 3x over 4 minus 5x. Here, 3x is your f of x, and in the denominator, that will be your g of x, which is 4 minus 5x. I hope you're able to follow. Still under the step 1 is we are going to check if it's arranged according to the decreasing order of its degree. Let's see. Notice that in the denominator right here, it's not yet arranged. So we are going to arrange that by interchanging negative 5x and 4. So it would look like this. There. Followed by another checking. You're going to check if there are still available factors for the polynomial. So let's check. In the numerator, it's already a monomial. So as is. In the denominator, can you factor this binomial? Is this a special product? based on your grade 8 mathematics? Or do they share a common monomial factor? If your answer for both questions is no, then that means it will remain as is. That means your final answer would be in this form. It is 3x over negative 5x plus 4. You're simply going to remove the parentheses and this will be your final answer, making sure that there are no other factors that are common in the numerator and denominator. I hope you're able to follow. I hope that's clear. So that means, again, our final answer is this. 
Now let's have another example. How about this one? Find f over g of x if your given is f of x is equal to 4x minus 12 and your g of x is equal to 12 minus 16x. Now I want you to try. Pause this video and try answering this one. Do not forget if there are or if the numerator and the denominator can still be factored or are factorable, then you need to factor it out. Recall your junior high school mathematics. You may pause the video now. Go ahead. If you're still struggling on how to solve for this one, then follow our steps. Look at this. Step 1. We are going to divide a using this form. You have there f over g of x is equal to 4x minus 12 divided by 12 minus 16x. You are going to arrange. That will be our second step. Remember, you're going to arrange it in decreasing order of its degree. Perfect. So look at this. In the numerator, it's already arranged, so as is. But in the denominator, you still need to interchange. Negative 16x plus 12. So it's already arranged now. Let's continue. So from this, we all have this. How did we come up with that? Do not worry, I'm here to guide you. So we are going to take it step by step. Follow my laser pointer. Let's focus in the numerator first. So we have 4x, right, in the first term of our binomial. So here, we are going to write that in this form. We have 4 times x, meaning we are expressing it in terms of its factors. We have 4 times x. We copy minus, then let's focus on this one now. 12. Why are we writing 12 as 4 times 3 and not as 6 times 2? Because you are going to express these in terms of common factors. Since 4 and 12 share a common factor that is 4, that's why we are rewriting our terms in its factors with a 4. So 4x are 4x, 4 times x, and 12 is written as 4 times 3. Okay? Now, let's proceed to our denominator right here. In the denominator, we have negative 16x plus 12. So keep in mind that you need to find a common factor if there is. So you need to see if there's a common factor. Negative 16 and 12, do they share a common factor? Yes, they share a common factor and that is 4 because 16 can be expressed as 4 times negative 4. Then we copied x. Here, 12 can also be expressed in factors with a 4. That is 4 times 3. Okay. Now, what will be our next step? From that, we are going to have this. This is using common monomial factor. Since in the numerator, we already identified that they share a common monomial factor that is a 4, like this. This one has a 4, and this one also has a 4. We are going to take that out and write it here. So remaining in our parentheses would be here, if we are going to take out 4, we remain x. So copy x, copy minus, and here, take out 4. So what remains here is a 3. So we have in the numerator, 4 times the quantity of x minus 3. Next, in the denominator, again, we will take out the common monomial factor. So the common monomial factor for this is a 4. So here, we also have a 4. So we'll take that out. So we have your 4. So remaining in our parentheses would be a negative 4x, copy plus, then 3. Take note, we have taken 4. So again, we copied 4 and close in the parentheses the remaining terms. So here, we have negative 4x, copy that, copy plus, and here, the remaining term is 3. So we will copy 3. So in the denominator, it is now 4 multiplied to the quantity of negative 4x plus 3. I hope you're able to follow. Next is, you're going to check if there is a common factor in the numerator and in the denominator. So here, the common factor is a 4. So we are going to cancel that out, and we are left with x minus 3 divided by negative 4x plus 3. 
double check if there are no other factors. If there's none, then that means you will remove the parentheses and the answer is x minus 3 and arrange it in decreasing order of its degree. So the answer is x minus 3 divided by negative 4x plus 3. That is our final answer. That means this is the quotient of f of x and g of x. Do not worry, we still have another set of example for you. How about this? Try this one. If you're given f of x is equal to 3x squared minus 12x, and your g of x is 6x minus 18x cubed, find f over g of x. You may pause this video, just take your time, take it slow. Go ahead. So let's check if we share the same solution. Look at this. Step 1. I'm rewriting it in this form. In the numerator is my f of x, and in the denominator is the g of x. Okay, so from there, we are going to check if the polynomials can still be factored, right? So let's check the first one. That is our numerator. So let's focus on our numerator. Here, another way is this one. We are going to take out each of the terms, so we'll have it here. This is in the numerator, so I'm writing 3x squared here, and I'm also writing negative 12x here. Because this time, let's express it in terms of its factor that are to the two terms. So here, we can write 3x squared as 3 times x times x, right? And 12 also has a factor of 3, so we will make use of that. So we can write it as 3 times negative 4 times x. Do you follow? Now observe that there are common factors. These are the common factors shared by the two terms. So this is now what you called as your common monomial factor. So the common monomial factor in the numerator is 3x. Okay? So if you're going to write now the factors, we will write first the common monomial factor and then enclose in parentheses the remaining terms. So it would look like this. We have 3x multiplied to the quantity of x minus 4. So again, we are referring to the numerator. So these are now the factors of your numerator. Let's write it on the side. There. So we already have the factor of our numerator. This time, let's all focus our attention to the denominator, which is negative 18x cubed plus 6x. So same with the numerator, we're going to write it down here individually for each term. So we have negative 18x cubed here, and we also have 6x. Now, find a number, or if there is, look for a number that is common for the two terms. Like here, negative 18 and 6. Is there a common factor? Let's see. We can write negative 18x cubed in this form because 6 is a common factor. 18 has a factor of 6. Same with 6x, it has a factor of 6, right? So here we already have expressed this a negative 18x cubed in this form. And then we will also do that for 6x. Like this. Okay. So 6x is 6 times 1 times x. After that, we are going to look for the common factors. The common factors are this. We have 6 and x. Thus, we can say that our common monomial factor in the denominator is 6x. And to express our factors, we will write first the common monomial factor. And after that, enclosed in parentheses, the remaining terms in our binomial. So we have your negative 3, x, and x. So it will give you an x squared. And here, the next term is 1. So we are going to rewrite it in this form. Common monomial factor first. So 6x times the quantity of negative 3, x squared plus 1. So those are the factors of our denominator. I'm going to write it there on the side for us to be reminded that we already have the factors of the numerator denominator. Okay, so next step. If we're going to write it horizontally, it would look like this. Similar to the prior example. So we have 3x squared written in this form and 
12x written in this form. We just copy the minus sign. And here in the denominator, we follow the same process. So here, similar to what we have shown earlier, negative 18x cubed can be expressed in these factors. Plus 6x can be written as 6x times 1. Okay, so from there, you're going to write the factors. So these are the factors similar to what we have here. So 3x multiplied to the quantity of x minus 4 divided by 6x multiplied to the quantity of negative 3x squared plus 1. Do they share a common factor in the numerator and denominator? Actually, for 6x, you can write it in this form. There. Remember, you have 6x. 6x can also be written as 3x times 2 for us to clearly see that there is really a common factor in the numerator and denominator so that we can cancel out 3x and the remaining terms are now x minus 4 in the numerator and we are left with 2 multiplied to negative 3x squared plus 1 that's right here in our denominator. We're going to double check if there are still other factors that we can cancel out. Are there still factors available for this? If there's none, that means this is our final answer. What I did is, I just remove one more time. I just remove the parentheses because there are no other factors except for the denominator. We are left with this one. X minus 4 in the numerator over we remove the parentheses of 2, so we have 2 multiplied to the quantity of negative 3x squared plus 1. Take note that you're still going to enclose that in a parentheses, and this will be your final answer. Okay, so I will summarize what we did for this one. So what we did in the first part is we have written f of x over g of x, right? Second step is we have written it in this form, expressing its factors, checking if they share a common monomial factor. We are writing it in this form. Now, after that, in the denominator, instead of writing 6x, since it can be written as 3x times 2, and we canceled out 3x, which is the common monomial factor, and then we are left with the final answer. That is x minus 4 over 2 times the quantity of negative 3x squared plus 1. So that's it. That will be the answer. Let's move on. What's more? Here is for the activity time. I prepared a five-item assessment for you to check your understanding for lesson 3.4 about division of functions. So we have here, find f over g of x using the two functions given in each number. So if you're using the same module, never forget to contact your mathematics teacher and submit it on your agreed date and time. So just take your time. You can take a screenshot or pause this video. Take your time in answering this activity. Last one. What you need to remember. The division of functions can be written in this form. And in dividing functions, you should look for the factors in the numerator and denominator first. And finally, after getting all the factors of the numerator and denominator in dividing two functions, you need to simplify your answer. Same with what we did with our examples. And hooray! Congratulations! You have successfully completed lesson 3.4 about division of functions. If you want to learn more about general mathematics, then do not forget to subscribe. And see you in the next lesson!